I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about basic approaches to integration. In problem number 17, we'd like to evaluate the integral from 1 to e squared of ln squared of x squared over x dx. So the first thing that I want to do here is I want to start with a u substitution. And what I'm going to substitute for is, uh, let's substitute for u is equal to ln of x squared. If I do, then I get that du is equal to, well, it's going to be the derivative of x squared over x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x over x squared dx. Uh, but I could simplify that and just write it as 2 over x dx. And I see that I have an x on the bottom and a dx, but I don't have a 2. So if I want a 2 in here, I'm just going to go ahead and write in a 2, which means I'm going to have a 1 half outside of the integral sign. All right, now let's rewrite this thing uh, using the substitution. So I'm going to move over here. This is equal to, the 1 half is still there. Then I have the integral of, well, ln of x squared was my u. So if I square that, I get u squared. And now the 2 over x dx becomes my du. So I have u squared du, but now I could change my limits of integration. Okay, So I'll plug in the 1. If I plug in 1, I get ln of 1, which is 0. So 0. And then I could plug in e squared. e squared squared is e to the 4th, and ln of e to the 4th is 4. So now I'm integrating from 0 to 4. So let's take an antiderivative and I get one-half. Antiderivative of u squared is one-third u cubed evaluated from zero to four. Let's plug in the four. Uh, I get one-half times one-third. Uh, u cubed, when I plug in four, is 64. Minus, plugging in zero is zero. And so we end up with one half times one third times 64, or that's 64 over six. Uh, I guess I could divide both of those by two, and I get 32 over three. And so here is the value of my integral.